Hey guys, so let's talk about excessive swelling into the foot and the ankle. And I stress the word excessive because it's going to be normal to have some swelling, have some drainage that goes down into the foot and the ankle. When it becomes excessive is when you start to lose range of motion in the foot or the ankle, or when you start to see real noticeable coloration that's different from the other foot. Um, I've had the good fortune of working with lots of patients that have had total knee replacements. I've seen patients that just had like practically no swelling, which is amazing. But then I've also seen patients that have had challenges. And so a couple of the signs and symptoms that I'm looking for as a physical therapist evaluating a patient who might be experiencing too much swelling, I look at the coloration of the skin. So I look at the non-surgical foot and I look at the surgical foot. I'm looking for redness. I'm looking for excessive warmth if I touch the skin. I'm looking for shininess to the skin, which would indicate that there's so much swelling in there, it's stretching the skin and, and really starting to become problematic. I also look for skin breakdown. So is the skin flaking or cracking? Do I see any seepage or drainage anywhere? Um, those would all be indications of something that needs to be assessed more deep, deeply uh, and potentially by a medical professional. I look for changes in available range of motion in the toes, in the ankle. If somebody prior to surgery had normal range of motion, they could flex their ankle, they could do the ankle pump exercise, no problem. But now as the swelling is increasing, and this is usually going to happen around day three, um, certainly by day five, the swelling should be improving. If it's not, if day three is worse, if day five is worse, it's something that really needs to be addressed by a medical professional. But if you start to lose the ability to flex and extend your ankle, if you start to lose the ability to wiggle and control your toes, um, that would be indicative of excessive swelling that needs to be addressed. And then, of course, I would look at if I can make noticeable changes in the swelling. So in some cases, if I educate a patient on how to properly elevate the leg, and when I say properly elevate, I mean the client is laying flat, the hip is flexed to 45 degrees or more, the leg is above the level of the heart, I should see a noticeable change in the swelling and the tightness of the skin in about a 20-minute episode. Um, we can also utilize some compression stockings. We can use an ACE wrap to, to spiral wrap and compress the foot, the ankle to try and reduce some swelling. I've shared videos where I have had patients with excessive foot and ankle swelling and we do a compression spiral wrap and within five minutes, I can see a half a centimeter difference. Now it does refill, but at least that gives us the ability to affect a change. And then we can talk about some longer term strategies. But the most common reason why I see the, the patient develop excessive swelling is either they're not managing their pain well, they're not responding to the pain medication, they're be, they have become too sedentary, too inactive, they're not getting up on their feet every hour or two, they're not walking around to the bathroom, they're guarding and protecting the foot, the ankle, the leg because of the knee replacement a little bit too much. Um, you know, and, and that's normal. I see that response happen a lot, or they're having a negative reaction, like they're feeling lightheaded, they're feeling nauseous, they just don't feel like they can get on their feet as much as they need to. All of those are cases where the patient really should be talking to the physical therapist, to the surgical team, because while it might not be dangerous in and of itself to have excessive swelling in the foot and ankle, it could be a sign or indicative of something else that needs to be assessed. Guys, I hope that information was helpful. If it was, check out the article I wrote specifically about this topic, and I'll see you on the next video.